All right, busy week uh, in the arts and uh, entertainment, lifestyle. Adam's here to wrap it all up. For yeah, us. it's going to be a busy uh, month for uh, a bunch of island chefs. It's been said that we eat with our eyes before our mouths, and that's one of the reasons why South Island uh, cooks are, are challenging themselves to make meals limited to just one color. The Color Your Palette culinary contest uh, began this morning with a group of Victoria Elementary students. The kids are creating a challenge. Whatever the color we give them, they have to make the color of that food, so... 14 chefs from Greater Victoria await their fate as students from James Bay Elementary complete their colorful prints. They are, they've learned in a very short time how to make a print. We're busy actually at the back hair drying the prints so they can be ready in a few minutes to make the draw with the chefs. Over to your chef and give them their colors. Oh, yay. The students randomly hand their work to the chefs who will be asked to make canapes with ingredients limited to that color. Colors in the food industry and the world are, as far as food goes, are unlimited. You just gotta be a little creative with what you're gonna use. The chefs represent popular pubs and clubs, restaurants and bistros, catering companies and hotels. And just, it, it was great to see all the chefs working together and just like, um, no animosity, just friendly, you know, great for the industry, I thought. Ultimately, they're helping Arts Reach, which has taught more than 15,000 South Island kids to connect with their creativity. Our aim is to help children learn life skills through art experiences. And so we've come into schools that have a population of students who most likely would not have an opportunity for extra enriching arts experiences. So we work with the teachers and we provide this enriched experience with a professional artist. Well, the focus today was prints, at least one student is leaving with thoughts about the potential of his plate. Because your mom could do that too with you, like, or your dad, because you can give them a color and then they can make that color food that night. So, or for lunch, it doesn't matter which time of day it is. Good idea, Jaden. Never a bad time for color. Uh, the chefs have about a month to figure out uh, what to do. The sixth annual Color Your Palette is April 10th at the University Club. You can find out more on the event and the programs it supports by visiting octacollective.com. Well, famous people news now, and Justin Bieber's troubled week in London just got worse. After being released from the hospital last night for fainting, the star was caught on camera angry and swearing at the paparazzi. What'd you say? The incident uh, happened after uh, Bieber was escorted into his van by his bodyguards. Uh, one of the photographers then accused the bodyguard of assault after being pushed aside. That's when Bieber heard about it, jumped out of the van, the van to uh, defend him. This is the third unfavorable incident surrounding Bieber during his series of London concerts. He was also booed for starting his concert late, and then last night, as we told you, uh, he's had to stop the show because he was feeling short of breath. What's the deal with Biebs? Is he going off the rails? I hope not. He's, he's had a stressful... A bad week. A bad week. At the same time, I think a lot of those paparazzi kind of goad them into getting these sort of reactions. Not that it's justified. No. It did. You know who had a good week? Who? Leonard Cohen. I'm you still, still thinking I'm about still, still I'm still excited about that show. That was fun. <laughs> it was a special one. It was great. Sparky, thank you. Okay. Have a good weekend. And you.